if you're facing game runtime errors they are usually caused by incompatible or outdated drivers a visual c++ installation that's missing or just a lack of windows update now the easiest way of fixing them or one of the first things that you should try is try running your game as an administrator now uh, you will not be able to likely run these games as admin because if i search for let's say uh, counter strike which is installed via steam as you can see there are no options to run it as an administrator so to do this we're going to head over to the drive where the game is installed in my case uh, this and then we're going to find the exe file for the particular game that we're looking for in this case it's counter strike so go to pin win64 and you'll find cs2.exe right here once you've located the executable file for the game right click it and then you can just select run as administrator right here and then this should fix your problem if this doesn't your best option is to go ahead and reinstall or update your gpu drivers now if you're using uh, nvidia you can just open up the nvidia app and you will start to install your drivers but since i am uh, using it nvidia as you can see i have a game ready driver update available so i can go ahead and download it if you have an amd or an intel gpu you need to go through those respective uh, utilities you can try and go ahead via device manager so if you press windows key plus x and then click device manager then you can head over to your uh, display adapters and now you can update your gpu from right here but these don't always install the best drivers possible so i would recommend using the manufacturer utility to install these drivers now, if that doesn't work out either, you can try updating your Visual C++ redistributables. So press Windows key plus X and then click on installed apps. Now we'll wait for this list to stop loading and then I'm going to search for Visual C++ and as you can see, I have a bunch of Visual C++ redistributables installed here. Now, all right, Visual C++, yeah. So now depending on which one of these your game uses, you can just click on these three dots right next to it. And if you don't see a modify option, just keep on moving on. Um, once you see the modify option in the visual redistributable that you want to update, click on it. And then this will should open up. Uh, this should open up some sort of a loader for you, like right on this now. So as you can see, uh, a lot of these redistributables are not really active installations, but they still show up on your system, which makes them a little bit confusing. But once you do find the right one, you can go ahead and un repair it or uninstall it and then re-download it from a Microsoft to get the desired results and get your game up and running. If that doesn't work either, you can try and go ahead to Windows Update in the settings and checking for a Windows Update. A lot of these required files uh, and runtime errors can be solved by making sure that you have the latest update for Windows. If that doesn't work either, your best bet is to go ahead and uninstall the apps uh, or the game that are causing the problem. So to do this, press Windows key plus X once again, head over to Installed Apps and you will be able to see all of your different games in this list. For example, I've got Assassin's Creed Valhalla, I've got Counter-Strike 2, I've got FC25, Far Cry 4, and so on and so forth. So uninstall these games simply by clicking these three dots and then clicking on uninstall. Windows will ask you if you want to uninstall. We know what we're doing, so click on uninstall again and then go ahead and re-download them from wherever you have installed uh, these games in the beginning it could be steam it could be epic game store it could be any of those options and um, that's it that should get your game up and running without any problems if you like this video consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you if you'd like to know more about tech visit our website candidate technology follow us on social media and if these videos don't work out as well for you do consider giving us a membership that's it for today and we'll see you in the next video.